Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, my name is Dr. Ashik Hussain and uh, here we have got model of uh, uh, head and neck and uh, in this particular video I would be you know explaining uh, with the OSP point of view or uh, with the spotting examination. Um, this particular model uh, I would explain the median sagittal plane uh, of the uh, head and neck. So here this is cranial cavity here you can see this is anterior cranial fossa and here we have got middle cranial fossa and here we have got posterior cranial fossa here frontal lobe of the brain lies here temporal uh, lobe of the brain lies whereas cerebellum lies in this particular fossa and if i would like you to look at the certain structures this is groove for middle meningeal artery middle meningeal artery and this is middle meningeal artery shown here okay then we have got trigeminal nerve here this is trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve it has got three divisions of thalamic division maxillary division and mandibular division and this is sensory ganglion of the trigeminal nerve whereas this is crista gali, crista gali, crista gali, and here we have got optic nerve, optic nerve entering into the optic canal, and this is internal carotid artery division, of, uh, its final division, uh, which is middle cerebral artery, internal carotid artery or middle cerebral artery. Then I would like you to have a look certain small structures and uh, those are look at this these two small structures these are seventh and eighth cranial nerve seventh and eighth cranial nerve entering into the internal acoustic meatus and this is labyrinthine artery labyrinthine artery labyrinthine artery because it is going to the internal ear which is also a maze like or labyrinth like so that's why it is called labyrinthine artery and then these are uh, nerves which are entering into the jugular foramen, jugular foramen, uh, jugular foramen, uh, glossopharyngeal nerve, then we have got vagus nerve, then we have got accessory nerve, these are the nerves. And then we have got this is hypoglossal canal and hypoglossal nerve into the this is foramen magnum foramen magnum and then vertebral artery from one side and vertebral artery from other side these two unite to form a basilar artery basilar artery and this is cerebellar artery and this basilar artery it finally divides into two posterior cerebral arteries, posterior cerebral arteries, posterior cerebral arteries, posterior cerebral artery. Now look at the median uh, sagittal plane. Here you can see a frontal sinus in the fr within the frontal bone, and this is you are looking at crista gali. And here we have got siphonoidal sinus, siphonoidal sinus. It is present just beneath the pituitary fossa. This is pituitary fossa, and here you are looking at it is a pituitary gland. And then this is clivus, clivus of the, uh, uh, clivus, it is a part of siphonoid, uh, uh, sorry, it is a part of uh, occipital bone, clivus. Then here you are looking at this is superior concha, middle concha, inferior concha, and beneath these there are respective meatae. And this is sphenoethomidal recess because siphonoid sinus open here and frontal sinus open into the middle meatus. Then what you are looking at this is opening for the eustachian tube, opening for the eustachian tube near uh, uh, your uh, nasopharynx uh, is connected to the your uh, middle ear. Then here we are looking at this is hard palate, hard palate, and posterior part, this hanging part is soft palate, soft palate. 
hard pellet this is incisive canal incisive canal incisive canal then we have got tongue tongue there are certain muscles this is mandible sagittal section of a mandible and here we have got two superior and inferior genial tubercles and that's why these muscles are called genio glossus genio fan shaped genio glossus because arising from the genial tubercle and tongue and here this is called genio hyoid because this is the hyoid bone you are looking at in the mid section uh, sagittal section genio hyoid then further this is you are looking at this is lingual tonsil lingual tonsil pharyngeal tonsils then here we have got you know these are uh, tons to, um, pharyngeal tonsil yes, and palatine tonsils these are palatine tonsils and this small isthmus part isthmus part this is a communication between nasopharynx and laryngopharynx so this is oropharynx oropharynx is isthmus is connection then you, this is thyroid gland uh, thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage and here we have got epiglottis 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 and this is uh, uh, epiglottis and these are vocal cords vocal cords and this is cricoid cartilage cricoid cartilage and then we have got trachea larynx trachea and here we have got esophagus esophagus then we have got this is first it is arch of the atlas anterior arch of the atlas first vertebra and this is odontoid process axis second vertebra then we have got intervertebral disc c1 c2 c3 vertebra c4 c5 c6 c7 this is vertebra prominence with intervening intervertebral disc and here we have got anterior longitudinal ligament which starts from the base of the skull till the sacrum and here we have got posterior longitudinal ligament and these are spinous processes spinous processes and this is spinous process c7 which is most prominent so that's why this c7 is called vertebral prominence and these are interspinous ligaments interspinous ligaments interspinous ligaments and here you are looking at this is this is white one structure is spinal cord with sur surrounding meninges and sub subarachnoid space subarachnoid space and here you are looking at this is thyroid gland thyroid gland and this is manubrium and this is sternum manubrio sternal junction or angle okay and uh, arch of aorta and you know rest of the vessels from the thorax and uh, what else you need to know in this particular and yes here you are looking at this is this is venous duodenal sinus which is superior sagittal sinus superior sagittal sinus this superior sagittal sinus is in the midline and uh, uh, it is basically a uh, gap between the two layers uh, endosteal layer and meningeal layer and here you are looking at this is transverse sinus and transverse sinus becomes sigmoid sinus here this one is sigmoid sinus and this is superior petrosal sinus superior petrosal sinus superior petrosal sinus joins the you know uh, transverse sinus or sig uh, beginning of the sigmoid sinus and uh, i guess uh, um i we have already covered most of the you know um structures here and this is ligamentum nuchae 
लिगमेंटम न्यू की एंड आई गेस वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर विद द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ दिस मॉडल सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वी वुड बी डेफिनेटली डूइंग सम लेटरल फ्रॉम द लेटरल एस्पेक्ट द मसल्स ऑफ द फेस एंड नेक मेजर स्कैरिटल मसल्स सो टिल देन थैंक यू वेरी मच